So what gives? Here's what an oyster boat looks like. It's a motor boat with a wake and it's got people standing up in it. Um, I asked them, can I have the photo please? And the Marine Mammal Commission helped me ask this, so they said yes. And here's the photo they gave me. Um, this was supposed to be the photo of an oyster boat on a Sunday. I, naive, I just looked at this photo and I said, um, I wrote back to the superintendent, I said, I don't see, it. you sent me the wrong photo. Surely it's another camera, another photo. I don't see no oyster boat. And, um, and the new superintendent wrote back to me and said, no, 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 it's up in the upper right-hand corner up there. Oh, could you put down the flights for just a second? I want everyone to see the oyster boat. This, this, this document was spread around. This actually went to a Senate subcommittee. I won't bore you with the details of why, because my, my claims that there had been false signs here got to them. It winds up, she said, you have to go and magnify. They had gone through these photos in such detail that they were magnifying them, not just going through all of them. You see there's a little tiny tan spot up here. Um, I'm trying to get the pointer to work here, sorry. Um, you see this little spot up here? Yeah. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to show it to you at higher mag. Um, here it is. This little spot, it's actually not one spot, it's two spots. You see the one back there? I call them unidentified UFOs, unidentified floating objects. I'll show you in a second, they're not oyster boats, they're moving. You see the second one catches up to the first a little bit. There, you see how they're moving it? This is minute to minute. Um, they're probably kayaks, they're horizontal, no one's standing up in them, there's no wake, there's no motor. You're right at the pixel level of their digital camera. They're moving at a speed that's about one-third the rate of how a good strong person kayaks. They're going at less than a tenth the speed, more like a twentieth the speed that a motorboat would go at. They're going very slowly. Um, this is the evidence uh, by the Park Service came up with a document to say that I was wrong, that they actually had time date stamp photographs. Um, uh, now here's actually the photo of a motorboat out at the same location. You see the wake. Here it is a little closer. So this is what an oyster boat looks like, and it moves very quickly. And here's these two things that I think are kayaks. If you tell me they're canoes, I would say no difference. Whatever they are, they're small horizontal objects without wakes and without motors that I can't tell what they are. So how the hell does the Park Service say that this is definitive evidence that these are motorboats? So that's the evidence that the Park has used to um, refute me, and that actually went to a Senate subcommittee involved with the nomination of John Jarvis to be director of the National Park Service. Now you see why this is a little contentious. So let me finish up with, with, with a few things. The, um, the National Academy, it winds up, spent over a year studying this problem. These photographs were available the whole time. The logs were available to these photographs. They suggested there ought to be photographs. It winds up the photographic system went up two years earlier. The Inspector General was never told, the National Academy of Sciences was never told, the Marine Mammal Commission was never told. What we now know is that the photos um, show there have been no disturbances at all. Um, in fact, this just gives you a timeline that the first of those logs was on June 6, 2008, um, shortly after the Academy began its deliberations, showing that there were no disturbances at all. The Park Service has published papers about the disturbances. These things take on a life of their own. This is a peer-reviewed paper in marine mammal science by three of the scientists. What this paper shows um, is that, in, actually here's a plot from the paper, I put the line in here, but the plot showing that as the number of oysters increases, so does the number of disturbances. But these disturbances don't exist. The photographs show they don't exist. Um, if you actually were to get rid of the disturbances that we now know don't exist, it's flatlined. There are no disturbances. But this paper has taken on a life of its own. It's now being used for an environmental impact study. It's on all sorts of environmental websites. You can go to the Sierra Club website, the Environmental Action Committee. Everyone refers to this paper because it is a, quote, peer-reviewed paper showing us that there's science showing disturbances. 